my loves another day going back in the van Brady is loading up the little cart with all of our trinkets and we're about to hit the road again to go to the next venue to continue this tour I'm really happy with my hair today I did pigtails and I think that they look really cute I'm probably gonna do this hairstyle for the rest of the tour because I like it so much. Anyways, um, we had a lot of fun here. It was a really great day off yesterday. We got to travel around the town that was very, very country, but still fun. Uh, we got to ride the cool lift thing. That was awesome, the sky lift, and see all the beautiful trees and the scenery. Got to try some tasty treats, did some wine tasting, and we tried some moonshine, which was a new experience for me. I've never had moonshine before and I quite liked it. Um, anyways, today we're gonna hop back in the van. How long's our drive, Great Skis? Um, probably like three or four hours. Three or four hours to the next town. And then we will be seeing you guys shortly at this venue. I'm really excited because I think, is this venue, is it, um, is it a bar or is it actually like a concert place? Um, this one's still, I think, a bar more, so I, I, I really don't know. All right, we'll see. We'll, <laughs> we'll see when see we get happens. there. Yay! So I had to show you guys real quick this really cute cookie that we got. We're having lunch right now. We're about um, halfway to our next hotel. But look at this cookie, the little pumpkin cookie. It smells like a sugar cookie, but it's so cute. Oh, <laughs> we've made it to the venue. <laughs> Behind me there are canvases and they're going to be doing painting and I happily am going to partake in that so we'll see how that ends up going. I didn't tell you about that, did I? There, no, you didn't. That, that's <laughs> actually really good because it's a nice surprise. And then there's the stage. Yeah! There's candy. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Hello! The YouTube space. And then we have quarantine over here. The hideout of quarantine. She's reading a book. <laughs> She's getting better. I can already see. I need it. to. I need to do a little edit of like an arrow pointing down at you. Quarantine. <laughs> Look at all the lights on the ceiling. I love this. That's awesome. I'm so stoked. And then they're gonna do mask painting, and I think Brady might take part in that, huh? I don't know. Maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. We'll see. He probably will. With your eyes, they're all big and nervous. And then um, the bar is behind me. <laughs> da, 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 da. I'm so thrilled though, I can't wait to paint. I'm gonna feel like I'm back in art college, it's gonna be great. No deadlines though, makes it safe. Hello, it's the day after the show. Our show went amazing and I just now realized that I didn't get to show you guys the hotel room that we stayed in last night, so here it is in all of its glory. It's actually a really, really nice hotel room. I was super excited that this is where we got to stay for the night. The bed was ridiculously cozy. It felt like we were on clouds and it was nice. It was so great. The show last night was a lot of fun. There were so many people that were there supporting us. Oh, there's Brady. Brady, did you have fun last night, Brady? Morgan. Morgan, good morning. Did you have yeah, I had a blast. Yeah. <clears throat> I just wish I could have slept longer than four hours. Yeah. We didn't get to sleep very long because we got here so late. And we have a very, very long drive today. So we're going to be in the car for quite some time. As you can see, all of our bags are packed. And we're getting ready to hop back into the car. Last night's show, though, was so much fun. Hopefully, I can get some video from someone who recorded it so I can add that in to this video right now. <clears throat> if I can't, I apologize. But uh, it was so cool meeting everyone, and I had some people give me gifts as well, which I'm really excited about. This is a book that one of the singers, her name's Candy, that was in one of the opening bands, she wrote this, and then her husband illustrated it. It's so, so cute, and it was super cool. I was so excited. She even wrote a little note in there, and then I also got a witchy gift, and I'm always up for that. Check this out. There's all kinds of, there's crystals in here and some oils and incense. Brady, did your bag just jump off the bed? Yeah. <laughs> yes. I'm starting to get hungry though. I feel that the hanger setting in, I'll have to eat here shortly. But 
I will whip back out the camera if anything happens that's exciting before we get to the next location, uh, which will be our hotel or the venue. Last night also I got to paint. Here's the painting I did. It was so cool before we went on and performed. They were letting people paint on canvases and you just did like a Halloween themed painting. Mm -hmm. um, you could pay $15 and paint and then get to take the canvas home, which is a pretty good deal because you can use unlimited acrylics and um, you get the canvas and I was super stoked about it. So I drew that up and I didn't get to trace it out. So I just kind of painted it which was really hard because I didn't get to trace it out with a pencil before I started doing what I was doing. But I like how it turned out. It's definitely something fun and I've never had a venue do that before, which I, I feel like if more venues did that, it would be amazing. I would totally always sign Welcome up. Welcome to the venue for tonight. Brady and I made it. I'm sitting here on my laptop getting things organized, editing YouTube videos. There's Brady over there doing business cat things. Wow. <laughs> I have my veil on that you guys saw in the promo photo shoot that I was super excited about. And check out the back room. So beautiful. I didn't get any footage inside the venue. So tonight when we're done performing and we start breaking down the stage, I will see if I can get some film within the venue. Check out the backstage, it's really nice. We're playing at the Empire tonight, and they have awesome shelves for all of the equipment. Our equipment is over here. You can see it says esoteric. I don't know if you can see that actually. It's in the turquoise. Lovely. And then we've got our stuff set up, getting prepped. And then beyond the door behind me that's all black is out towards the stage. Walking this way is the hallway out to where our tour van is and um, whenever we need to take out our equipment and reload our tour van after the show, we'll be going this way. So that's a little backstage tour. I'm really excited because after this show, we're going to be on the way to Salem and we're going to hang out in Salem for a little bit. I'm going to take you guys with us on that journey. And then we are going to venture off to Amityville, New York. And I really want to see the Amityville Horror House after we perform. I do. What is behind this black curtain? Oh. Oh my. I do not think that is a bathroom. That is a sink and a hot water thing. Well, I think the opening band is about to start, so I'll talk to you guys shortly. Let's listen to them for a second. very vampire or um, very zombies. I can't remember what show it is. Zombie? Zombie? Yes. That's like What's, the, uh... um, that's like the siren whenever they break free, right? Yeah. That's from Silent Hill. That's what I'm thinking of. I'm thinking of Silent Hill. Oh man. Oh I got... my loves. Today is a day off from our tour and we are spending it in Salem, MA today. I've wanted to go here for years, so I'm beyond thrilled to be exploring the town. Brady, are you excited? Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, he's excited. I really, really wanna go see Max Dennison's house today, which is from the movie Hocus Pocus. I don't know if you guys remember that. If not, you should check it out. It's a really, really good movie and so, to start this celebratory day, we have v Rogue, Voodoo, Donut, Chocolate, Peanut Butter, and Banana Ale. Never tried this before, but how cute is that bottle? It was the selling point for me. For Brady, I think it was probably the banana and peanut butter that sold it for him. Am I correct? Yes. I'm good. All right, so I have a glass of it. We'll see how it tastes and take it from there. 
It smells like um, the center of a Tootsie Pop. It smells like that, uh, what is that that's in the center of a Tootsie Pop? I think it's Tootsie? Tootsie Roll. It smells like a Tootsie Roll. Ooh, that's bitter. It's bitter? That's really bitter. I wouldn't think that would be the flavors. Oh, it's really... It's really bitter. It's got a sharp taste. It just tastes like um, Tootsie Pop. It just tastes like a Tootsie Roll. Literally tastes like a Tootsie Roll. So if you were expecting to taste peanut butter and banana, it's not there. It tastes like a Tootsie Roll, but it's still it's still pretty good. I'll still drink it. This is like my morning coffee. We just parked and barely missed the train. Just our luck. It's really cold out here. Fuck. It's cold. So we have to ride this train to get to Salem because it's so crowded out there that we won't be able to find parking, basically. Joy. So uh, the train got 86 and now Brady and I are doing Uber because <laughs> we remembered that the Uber app exists. Took, took a little bit. <laughs> Turner's is down this way, but mm -hmm. we'll never get to it. So I'm gonna go up, down, and it's a, it's a one way that way anyway. Okay. So we gotta roll around. And the buses are savages, they don't care. They will run <laughs> you over. I've seen a lot of that <laughs> from drivers. Not so much in Mass, but New York. Driving through the, that state, yep. some of those guys are crazy. They actually speed up when they drive by the police. Yes. <laughs> yes we are. just got out of the cab, and we are now going to grab food before we go to all the witchy gift shops and do all the fun stuff. It's really cold <laughs> and really packed. The traffic is insane. This place is awesome already, though. Yeah, I'm so stoked. Feel the energy. I can't wait. Hopefully we can go on some ghost tours. <laughs> Do you work here? No, I'm just in town to visiting. Oh no my way! Gosh. Where are you from? Um, I live in Florida. Really? So, yeah. How weird is that? What are the, so random. What are the oh chances? <laughs> we were walking by and she heard my voice and <laughs> knew it was me. Now you're being vlogged. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <laughs> Oh my goodness, I am such a fan. Oh, this is like a celebrity moment for me. Oh, no. oh my gosh. Apparently there's a line to get in that's different than Narlin's. <laughs> but looks like there's gonna be a line everywhere here. Yeah, it's fine. I'm sure we'll find lots of things. So which museum is the way down and Who's 
get coffee. So there's a huge line to go into this witch museum, which Brady and I were going to check out. But instead of going in there, here he is. Cast spells out here. <laughs> Instead of going in there, we're going to go to a different witch museum that is, I think, on, clear on the other side. So we'll see how the line is over there. Um, the guy that dropped us off here initially told us that one was the best one in town. So we're going to hold him up to that and see how it is. We were going to go in the witch museum, but it is crazy crowded. There's a huge line to get in. I don't even think we want to even try to tackle that. So, <laughs> Brady, what lines will we tackle? That is the question. We We're gonna go to the cemetery, yeah. like good gods, and where there's no people. Hopefully. Where there's no no other humans anywhere else. <laughs> in the car um this didn't go as we planned at all it is so so crowded and i mean it seems really silly to be saying this now because in retrospect it's kind of like yeah duh probably is gonna be a crowded place but this is i've i haven't been somewhere this crowded ever before it had my anxiety acting up i felt really not safe and it's not even like it's like this place is totally safe and it's totally fine to hang out at it was just like my, me personally too many people around me too much energy and uh there's huge lines to do anything so if you wanted to go in museums or you want to look at anything in the town it's the the lines are crazy long and i just I couldn't do it and it really sucks because there's so much that I want to see here in Salem. I'm just going to have to wait and come back whenever it's not Halloween. <laughs> I mean, this is it's Halloween weekend, so this place is just swarming with people. Look, Brady, Mr. Meeskeets. Mr. Meeskeets, or however you say it. Oh, look at me. Oh, look at me. He's over there. You can see him from Rick and Morty. So anyways, Brady and I are going to make the best of this. We got to go to Hex, which I am beyond excited about that. We had to wait in line to get into Hex even, which kind of was the first indicator of dun 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 how this evening was going to be. However, we're going to make this better. We're going to make it right since we couldn't do any of the museums. We are going to go to all of the Hocus Pocus filming spots. Not all of them. We're going to go to like maybe one or two filming spots, but it's better than nothing and it's going to make things a little bit brighter and more happy. So you can see it right there behind me. It's Max Dennison's house. Yay! It's been located. <laughs> That's about it. <laughs> It did, didn't it? <laughs> and it's just one so, zipper. But if you, this is but the if you house, the and it's actually like right next to all the water, which I did not expect. We're now at Pioneer Village and this is where Thackeray's house is. Thackeray. Thackeray Binks. <laughs> and a bus pulled up right now. So loud. Anyways, it's closed and I guess they don't, they're not like open for tours until September, which was a very long time ago now. 
this won't be happening anytime soon. But um, if I can get over here, oh God. So all you can really see is the roof. You can see the chimney up there. But this is from the opening sequence. It's uh, Thackeray's home. We are now walking up to the ooh, cemetery from the movie Hocus Pocus where Max is cutting through to get home from high school and it's the scene where he gets his Nikes stolen. So there's the gates and then it's up on that hill past all those stairs. You can actually see the inscriptions on these old headstones still in memory of Mrs. or Mr. Emma Hammond, wife, oh, it was Mrs. Wife of Mr. Thomas Peach Hammond and daughter of Mr. John and Miss Eliza Hammond, September 21st, 1810 to can't read. I think 1926. Is that right? That seems a little bit too long. That looks like an AE. What does AE stand for? There's this one know. too. Look how faded it is. So a lot of these are all marked, but they're so old that they've become super faded. Look how close these stones are to each other. They're basically just like right on top of one another. It's like, where, where is the body even placed? You just have them all crammed together. There's the graveyard that we just came up to. Now we're on top of the hill. You can see the point right here. And you can actually see the whole neighborhood if I pan the camera around. It's really pretty. There's water right over there. Oh, wow. Much wow. So pretty. Oh, there's like a little gated cemetery down there. I wonder what that was for. They have their own little private gate. The cemetery is really, really cool. I recommend it. It definitely made the trip 10,000 times better. If you go here, look at all the gravestones and read the dates, and then they have um, cause of death on the gravestones, some of them. But what I find most intriguing is the age and the year in which they passed away. It's really cool. <laughs> some of them lived to like 90. Yeah, a lot of them lived a really long time, which I was surprised about, till at least 70 to 90, which, you know, for that time frame, like the 1800s, that was kind of unheard of. Or at mm -hmm. least I thought it was, but there's a ton of people that are buried here that are much older than one would think. So. And the average of probably like 40 back then or something like that. So I think this concludes our Salem, our day off in Salem, MA. I know it was kind of uneventful, but I hope you still enjoyed the video. Please feel free to subscribe. I'll bring you more great videos in the future. I love you guys so much, and I'll talk to you again very soon. <laughs> Bye! Tschüss! Tschüssi!